Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, as you can see, we are back in V Rising. Uh, let's quickly wake up. Okay, uh, as you can see, I have made quite a bit of progress since my last video. Uh, last video, I don't even think I had a base yet. Um, so now we got all sorts of stuff. We got our our heart, we got furnaces, we got a sawmill, we got research table tables, uh, we got blood pressed, we put different things in and it squeezes them into this essence. Um, we got a vermin nest which you put in uh, the fibers, there, you put in these, the plant fibers and bones and it that makes rats that you can use in your crusher or to eat. Uh, we got the misters for when it's sunny. Um, but that's not why I logged on today. Uh, the reason why I'm on right now is I wanted to uh, give you guys a few uh, tips and tricks that might help you guys uh, as you are starting your V Rising Worlds. Um, the 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 scroll wheel you can zoom in and out so if you don't like it being so far back you can zoom in and play like that although i would recommend while you're out exploring have it as far back as possible so you can see more of the surrounding area and what is upcoming and uh be more wary of your surroundings um another thing is these blood presses while killing certain animals and going around fighting different things you will get these tainted hearts and you can consume them to, to help gain health or whatnot and it alters you or whatnot um but i would suggest that you guys save them and put them into your blood presses because four of them as you can see here converts over into 60 of the blood essence which i don't know that that's that's a steal in in my book um so that's another one of the tips um another thing is position your base in somewhat of an uh, of a clearing on one of the edges um i feel like that will give you more protection in the long run you won't have as much tra traffic between uh for players and it's just a little bit of privacy in my opinion um Okay, uh, let's leave the base for some of these next ones. Another thing is, while, while harvesting supplies, if you can find supplies that are in a group together, and then ang angle your mouse so you're hitting two for one. So you're, you're harvesting both of them and therefore saving yourself more time and energy because your tools do have durability on them. Um, let's make sure I stay in the shade. Um, see? Um, 1,041 out of 1085. And your durability is going to change based on the level of your weapon um which leads me to the next tip the spear the spear in my eyes is op 
Like it just it just annihilates things. And and the reach of it is just insane. Um Yeah, and it does it tell you on here? Plus twenty five percent physical damage to creatures. So if you come across the bears, you know, the, the wolves, any animals. I, I even like to use it many times when I come across people. Um, cause it's just, it's just ridiculous what it can do. Um, some people that you'll come up against will have shields and I prefer to use the, the spear for that. Um, because I can get a couple jabs in and then I back up because they'll come up and they'll almost bash you with your shield and they'll stun you. So I would say if you're going up against someone with a shield, use distance to your advantage. Um, ne next tip. Go back out here. Oh, the sun's the sun's kind of screwing us right now. Use your dash to get across openings of sunlight so you don't burn. Because it kind of gives you somewhat of a buff against the sun. Come here. Just quickly eat him real quick. And that can that that buff can help you so you don't take as much damage because the this the sun will wreck you so fast in this freaking game. Um Okay. Um also when you die um, many times on the map, uh, there will be an icon of where you died. Be, uh, before you click the X to respawn, or I, I believe it's X, double check your map and make sure. Oh, I was getting scorched. Make sure. Um, I also will add a marker. Like, where I died. And then it's double marked just in case, for some reason, the death marker isn't there. I have had it glitch once or twice when I've died, and it wasn't there. And luckily, I remembered where I was and was able to get my loot back. What the freak is going on? So yes, mark where, wh when you die quickly, click M, a mark where you died. So it's easy for you to get back to it and uh, retain your loot. Um, here's my heal. Another recommendation, live somewhere where you have access to a lot of wolves. Wolves can help you quite a bit um, with not only the bones, the hides, but anywhere where, the, where there's lots of wolves, there's also lots of other wildlife. Um, so you will not ever have to worry about a shortage of deer, moose, bears, things like that. And that also brings in patrols of people and the hunters, which you can also kill for other supplies. Um, not to mention the wolves have a tendency to go around. And as wolves do, they kill the other livestock. 
So as you're roaming around, you will just see loot just out in the middle of nowhere. You'll just be like, oh, hey, free loot. And you don't even have to do anything for it. Um, okay. Let's get back in here. Um, and turn off our mist machine so that we're not wasting bones when it's night. Because uh, there's no need. Because obviously the sun's gone. So save yourself bones and turn your mist machines, mist razor, whatever that is, um, off when it becomes night so you're not wasting bones. Unless by some chance you have a crazy amount of bones that you're just willing to uh, bust through, I guess. Um, ooh. I love this area where I decided to build my camp because there is almost always a sleeping bear here. And they are so stupid when they are sleeping. You just go up, stab him a bunch of the spear, and by the time he even gets up, he's, he's gone. So nice. So yeah, just... Just to recap some of the... Some of the tips, build your base in a more open area around one of the edges. Um, mark where you die before you respawn. Um, turn off your mist machines when it's nighttime. Build your base where there is plenty of wildlife, especially wolves around uh, for free loot and plenty of supplies. Um, use your and save your tainted hearts to put in your blood presses for crazy amounts of es uh, blood essence. Um, do a harvest when you can so it saves you time and energy and durability on your weapons. And then, um, What else did I say? You can zoom in and out to your liking. Uh, if you want to take snapshot snapshots of different things, you can zoom in so you're not as far away. Um, and another thing, while you're running around, you can just have your sword out and just swipe it every once in a while. It go it the the sword. Uh, moves very fast and it's a quick way as you're just traveling around to just gather a crap ton more resources. Oh no, I ain't dealing with that guy. Uh-uh, boy. So, yeah. Hopefully that helps you guys in your uh, worlds of V-Rising. Oh, it's another one of those dudes. But, oh, an another final tip. I'd also recommend you build your base somewhere where you have one of those bosses. What, whether it's the tree ant guy or one of the stone golems. Because if you are getting attacked, um, they can come in quite handy. You can lure the troops over by them and they will do your dirty work for you. And then you just come back later, quickly just run around the boss and collect all the dead people's loot. So there you have it. Um, good luck in your guys' worlds. Take care. Have a good one. See you guys on the next one.